Today on Listen Up. Pros versus cons. Tackling the question, do video sharing services help or hinder the film industry? With special guest, film industry moneymaker Timmy Cross. Nonprofit peace enthusiast Brittany Ari. Movie pirate Pat the American way. I am Timmy Crawl. I'm an agent. I don't tell it when I see it. <laughs> <laughs> now, about this video, Sharon. I once knew an actor. Worked on a movie. Did all right in theaters. You know, number one, first week. But when the DVD came out, there was no money. After lost his job, lost his house, lost his wife, lost his dog. Why? YouTube. Evil. It's evil. It really is. In 2010, Google, who owns YouTube, made videos longer than 15 minutes. Made it possible to upload videos longer than 15 minutes. And soon, Full feature length movies came out, including the movie the actor worked in. Why he lost his job? No one bought the DVD, they watched it on YouTube. So I had to fire him. I had to kick him out the house. I had to sleep with his wife. <laughs> <laughs> the dog was an accident. <laughs> Can you imagine? don't make any money, you work so hard, you spend hours of your life, and then get nothing to show for it. <laughs> John Dunn, <laughs> yeah. Never been there before. You will stop. How about you? You work so hard on something? Yes. Yeah? Do you have anything to show for it? Mm, no. How did mm -hmm. that feel? Uh, painful. Yeah. Imagine putting hundred million dollars into a film and it making ten million. <laughs> yeah. Now, for a photographer, take a picture of a painting and see an artist. No. 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 no, no, Should a person just put play on the uh, stereo, record it, and be considered, you know, a musician? No, no, you don't think so? No. no. Should a talk show host have a talk show that speaks less than a guest? Mm -hmm. Be considered a talk show? No. Yes? You're wrong. <laughs> My point, money makes the world go round. If you don't support hard-working individuals like myself, then you're not an American. Mm -hmm. Our next speaker, Kippy. Brittany Ari. 
everything I read. Let her pause everybody. Peace with you as well. Peace with you. Um, I'm here to actually say that you deserve to change your way of thinking, okay? Because I think video sharing is very, very beneficial in more ways than one. Uh, for instance, it it's a great resource for charities. Um, take Comic Relief, okay? One Direction made a video by themselves so they could save on a big budget video that they would normally do. All of the proceeds that they got from doing that video and all the money that they saved, they, they put it towards Comic Relief. It ended up being $17,000. And all people had to do was just click a mouse and share amongst their friends. Another thing that I feel that free video sharing could do is raise awareness for things. I mean, think about it. Uh, you see these, uh, these ads on the internet, off the little side, you know. Uh, click here to learn more about uh, what you can do for your community, or um, click more to learn about how you can stop domestic abuse and, and all these different things. But does anyone really click on them? I mean, do you? Do you guys look at them? Do you guys go in the search bar and, and look them up yourself? Probably not. But as filmmakers, if you were to see that, and, it, and if it were to speak to you, if it were to be a subject that you really cared about, what, what would you do? You'd say, I'm a filmmaker, right? That's something that I could easily make a short about. And I could go and, and, and share it with all my friends. I could put it on my Facebook. You know, I could put it on YouTube and, and get the word out, you know? Now, to me, think about it. Okay, take, take like um, human trafficking, for instance. You don't really hear a lot about it, but it happens every day. It's such a big, huge issue. 27 million people every year are sold in, a human, in trafficking. And 80% of those are women. 50% of those are children. So over 1 million children every year out of America are sold into that disgusting trade. Don't you think people should know about it? You know? Don't you want people to know about it? And even if you don't feel that way maybe about that, maybe, maybe you feel stronger about something else, then, then what, what can you do? You know, use your resources. Which is a video, a camera, the people around you, all these talented people. And you can make something really hard hitting, something that's going to speak to a lot of people. And we have so much at our fingertips where we could just click and share, click and share, click and share. And it doesn't have to be bad. It could be good. And so that's why I feel that video sharing is a good thing. And I mean, and take YouTube for instance. instance. <laughs> Whenever you get done, you know, watching um, adorable cats play on the piano or epic fail videos, then there's a cute, cool little section of categories where you can actually learn stuff. Crazy, I know. But you can't. You can, uh, learn a uh, dance routine, you can learn how to cook, you can learn how to tie a bow tie, or you can upload videos yourself and teach other people how to do things. You know, you can teach other people how to build a birdhouse, so you can teach other people how to throw together a, a hard-hitting seminar. Anything, really. And why not do it? If it's your own video, and you made it, and you want people to see it, and, and you want to make a difference, or you just want, you just want to learn something new. Why shouldn't you be able to have that, that, uh, that right to get on the computer, or that, that, that privilege, I guess, uh, to get on the computer and, and, and put something up there that, that has meaning? You know? So <clears throat> I think if you can use what you learn from these free videos you have access to, uh, or, or you can teach someone else something, I think that's really incredible. It's really great. And I don't see the harm in it at all. So, namaste. <laughs>